Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sampled commercial drill beat. So for artists like Central C, especially with him pretty much breaking the internet with his latest track Doja. A lot of people have been sending me DMs asking me to make another sample drill tutorial, so I thought it would be a perfect time. The sample I'm going to be using is Family Affair by Mary J. Blige. I think it would just be perfect for this type of drill. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I've got the Family Affair track here. I'm just going to drag it in. It's going to work its magic. Then we can take what we want from the track. Okay, cool. So I've just pulled in the vocals and the instrumental both on separate tracks. I've got the BPM set to 145. First thing I need to do is just get it in time. Just to save me some time, I'm going to quickly check the BPM. It's 93. So what I could do is just go to fit to tempo and then either type it 93 or double it for 186. That's clear. There we go. So I'm just going to copy this vocal over and I definitely need to clean things up. So we'll start with the EQ, just taking out those lows and some of the highs. Then I'm just taking out a few harsh frequencies, just adding a compressor too. Gonna widen the sound a little bit too. And then just a little bit of reverb. But just to make it more interesting, I think I want to chop the vocals a bit. So I'm going to set this to generic bleeding and see what we can do. Copy this over and then just get rid of that bit, stretch it back out. And then we'll add some delay to fill in those gaps. So I think I just want it on like quarter notes. And that's really going to be it for the sample. Sometimes I like to flip things completely, but for the purpose of this video, which is commercial drill, a lot of the samples still want to be recognizable. So that's all I really need right now. So yeah, let's throw in some drums. We'll just add some filler notes too. Okay, that can be the bounce. And then for the snare, I'm gonna have to go back to the green snare. Definitely my favorite snare. Wait, let's go back to the trusty fat and wide cause it's the best 808 in the game. And it's just coming down. And then some short ones at the end. Alright, that might work better. And then again, so there's a little bit of variation. I'll just change something in the first half. You already know the kick's gonna be the bass kick. want to add a couple little perks as well i don't want to go too crazy with it i'm trying to save as much space as possible but maybe something like this and then maybe something a bit higher pitched so like a triangle like this just pan those two I'm actually going to bring the BPM down to about 143. I think it's a bit too fast. And then with that perk, I'm just going to take the first one. I just do something else at the end here. There we go. Just copy that to the end here. And honestly, this is all I think it needs. I could keep adding stuff, but i would be doing it for the sake of it. So I'm just going to arrange it. So I'm just going to start with the sample and the count snare. And this made the intro short, I think. Yeah, there we go. 
save those triangles. So yeah, we could have a break of the counter snares, maybe up until about here. Same with those triangles. And then for this counter snare, I'm just gonna simplify it. Get rid of these perks. I'm just gonna save them. Last few things it needs is just some cuts just to make it interesting. And then right at the end before the hook, just cut a few things out. Okay, and I think I also want some love filter somewhere. And I just have that gradually come off. Okay, last finishing touch is just my signature camera flash. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So we're just starting with energy straight away in this one. And it's straight into the hook too. Definitely hear Central C on this. But yeah, let me know what you guys think as always. Quite a simple beat, but definitely commercial enough. Just a little switch up there. As you can see, I didn't want to add too much to the beat. Just saving space for vocals. Only difference with the hook is it has the sample vocals in. And then obviously the little pauses, little gaps just to keep it interesting. Little ear candy. Yeah, coming back to the hook, I just had a low filler right before the drop. 